What's up, everybody? It's Tony back with another video. I am doing another vlog. I kind of enjoyed that last vlog, so I decided I think I want to do it again and maybe do it more often. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys right now, um, I'm starting a new book. It's one of the books that I said I wanted to read for April, and it's actually a little bit before April right now, but I think when I publish this video, it probably will be the very beginning of April. And so the book is called, it doesn't really have, I'll put the little picture up there or whatever, but the book is called The Last Word, and it's by Taylor Adams. I know a lot of you, especially those of you who like thriller books in particular, have probably heard of this book or probably even read it. I think it came out last year. Um, this is one of the ones that my sister recommended to me, and she did actually read this, and she really feels that I would love this book. And after reading what the book is supposed to be about, I was just like, I, I know I want to read this one. So basically, just in summary, um, what the story is around, um, there's a lady, her name is Emma, and she reads like an ebook, and she ends up giving it a one star rating. <laughs> so <laughs> how it starts, I'm not like, I don't, I try not to do spoilers or whatever. I haven't even got that far in the book to give you guys any kind of plot twist or anything. But so how the book starts off is, so she gave that one star review <laughs> and it was like the only review for the book. And so the author actually commented back and he was like asking her, he's like, hey, you know, you're really like killing my sales, you know, or whatever. Can you please review or remove the review? She writes back and she's like, you know, um, I'm not going to review it. You know, sorry, you feel that way or whatever. And they just kind of go back and forth a couple times more. And like his last response was actually, um, I don't want to tell you just exactly what he said or whatever, but it sounded like a little threatening. And anyway, so she's staying at this. Like I said, I haven't got that far into the book, so I don't know all the ins and outs. But she like lives or she's staying at a beach house, kind of like alone or whatever. And so she's go she went to bed and in the middle of the night, in the dark, in her room, she thought she saw like a shadow of a person, like literally a person, um, a figure. And she even thought she saw like a hat on their head and everything. And then when she turned on the lights... Um, when she got the nerve to turn on the light, she didn't see anything. So she's like going around doing a house check. I don't know for those of you who live alone or may don't live alone. Um, you should know all about like a house check. Like you go in every room upstairs, downstairs, basement, if you have it, garage, whatever, and check to make sure nobody's in your house. I know I've done that before. <laughs> so I was very familiar with that, but, um, that's what she does. And that's actually like, just kind of like where I left off on the book so far. But I mean, seriously, I'm only like maybe 20 pages in, if that. And I already love this book and it's definitely a page turner and I can't wait to pick it back up and start back reading it. And I'm gonna try to finish this one real quick because if it's as good as I think it's gonna be, I know I'm gonna love this book. Cause I already, I already just like the concept of it. I'm already like, I, like I've told you guys before, I kind of like to be entertained when I'm reading. Not just some stuff is real deep and serious and I do love that. But sometimes I like to kind of just be like this book is almost kind of like it's not funny like a comedy but I was like about the review part I was kind of like laughing to myself because I know I've gave one star reviews on things too not I don't think I've ever done it on a book um yet <laughs> but I've done it like on products and stuff and so I just kind of like like thought that was kind of hilarious that the person actually commented back but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with this book and I'm gonna um let you guys know some more of my reactions as it goes but i'll see you in a little while okay so it's actually the next day and i'm on my quote unquote lunch break whatever that is and so i'm just drinking a protein smoothie um, <laughs> and i'd much rather have some nachos or some chicken strips or hamburger or whatever but i'm trying to do better so i'm drinking a protein smoothie and um I just really want to talk about this book, The Last Word, by Taylor Adams. Um, I don't know, man, I guess it's just because I just started reading whatever. How did I miss this? How did I not read this book sooner? Oh my gosh. So I already, I think I stated kind of the gist of what's going on. Um, the main character, Emma, leaves a bad review, a one-star review on an author. He's kind of like a beginning author or whatever you know, so it seems or whatever. And he got all mad or whatever, took it real personal. They emailed back and forth or whatever. So what I forgot, I think I knew this at one time, this book actually takes place in Washington State, which is where I'm really from. I'm in Atlanta right now. But um, 
I'm from Washington and so it just I'm really excited about that because I think this is my first book that's like based out of Washington and so uh she's actually Emma's house sitting for someone named Jules and um this is how she would literally be homeless if she wasn't house sitting for him and so Jules house is like in this beach town called um I can't think of the name I'll tell you guys later Strand or something like that and it's the houses are really far apart, but yet she has one neighbor that with, if they use a telescope, they can see each other and they like play hangman. They communicate that kind of way into a guy. His name is Deke. Um, and so, you know, they kind of, they're chummy or whatever, but they've never really met each other in person. And so they kind of just like chat. Like I said, they write stuff on a whiteboard um, and they can see it through a telescope. They play games, whatever. Make, he makes like a lot of jokes. He's like a jokester. And the whole thing is just like really creepy. Because I don't know if you guys have ever been like to a beach town. It's like, I don't know if it's like this everywhere. But in Washington, the beach towns are like really weird. They're like you went into a freaking time warp back to like 1980 or something. Everything's like outdated it seems. There's probably like one grocery store or one gas station you know and that sort of thing or whatever and really the houses might not even be by, close to that kind of stuff so where Emma staying in the house um like I said she has this neighbor but he's really far away but they see each other through a telescope and so it's just like this really creepy scenery but anyway what I really wanted to say was first that this book is so good right now like I don't want to put it down it is definitely a page turner it's probably like the most page turnery if that's a word book that I ever read before now I don't know I don't want to get all hyped up <laughs> and think it's gonna stay that way or whatever and also my sister already told me she didn't give a spoiler or anything she said be careful like when I'm reading things like don't look too hard at reviews and stuff because whatever is gonna happen a lot of people apparently got mad at the end of the book so that doesn't mean anything to move. I'm, I'm going to, she said, still read it. It's still an excellent book or whatever. But she just wanted me to just be careful if I'm looking on Amazon or Goodreads or whatever. So that's cool. I'm not going to look at it anymore because I don't want anything to be um, given away. But the thing is, so the guy, like I said, the author got all mad, <laughs> took it real personal. And he is going to show, he shows up at her door at night. She was like getting so creeped out because I said she was like, thinking somebody was inside the house and just really creeped out and everything and the exchange she had with this guy is really weird. Um, she had packed her stuff, got her dog and everything, what well, was about to get her dog, and she was about to leave and literally this crazy fool showed up at her door. And I don't want to give away like what the exchange of words and what he was saying and everything though, but it was just like so creepy. This book, I mean, it's just good. I can't believe... I'm just now reading this. I'm just so excited. I actually want to, I want to finish this book today. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it um, just because I, just because of work and stuff. And then I have some other things to do after. And I'm even, to be truthful, I'm going to probably watch a little bit of TV because my favorite show, All American, starts back finally after a long time after they had that stupid strike. I won't say stupid. They probably did a strike for good reason. But one of my favorite shows, All American, is coming back on starting tonight. So I'm going to watch that for sure. And then I just want to chill. It's actually Monday, just in case you guys know it's April Fool's Day. Um, but yeah, I'm just, this book, man, oh man, I know I'm going to finish it this week for sure. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I don't even know because I'm so early. I'm not even halfway through and dude already showed up at her door. So I don't even know it's like what's going to happen. I, I just can't even imagine how the book can continue. So yeah, I just want to give you guys that little update. I'm going to continue reading and continue this vlog and I will see you guys later. Okay, so I am a little less than halfway finished with this book and I've never wanted to finish a book so fast in my life. I, I'm not playing at all. I've never been so lost. I'm usually even in the best books, like I have my ideas about what's going to happen at the end and maybe I'm right sometimes, maybe I'm kind of right, you know, whatever. You know, like it's, there's like, three three or four choices of who the bad person is or whatever that you can choose from normally in a book this one I honestly I have no clue what's going to happen or what's going to turn out so like I said before that crazy author guy showed up 
at the lady's house. Um, and just all this, I don't want to give stuff away. I highly recommend you read this book. Um, but a whole bunch of all this crazy stuff is happening. This book is definitely, again, I think I said it before, it is definitely a page turner. Um, it's it's action packed, like literally from the beginning. Like there hasn't been a dull moment in this book yet. And I've never had that happen. Even in my favorite Freedom McFadden books or whatever it is, I've never had it like nonstop action like in this book. This book has, um, now mind you, this author is the author of horror stories. So this book has like a horror story kind of aspect to it. He's just like, I can't even stress anymore. He's just crazy. I think this is probably like the craziest character that I've, well, mm, I don't know if the, yeah, yeah, kind of the craziest character, or the most scariest character that I've ever encountered in any of the books that I read. I mean, it's just like, it's insane. I honestly don't know. This, I mean, this choice is obviously there's only so many characters in the book, but I just don't know what I can't even make a guess of what's going to turn out. I have no clue. So in this book, um, they kind of go back and forth from like this, I guess this wacky author writing a book and then what's happening like in real life or whatever. And it's just I just can't stress enough this is how insane it is. I've never read anything like this. So I actually I'm going to let's see, I'm on page 159 and it has I don't actually read anything, but. It's like a little over, well, no, it's like about 337 pages. I didn't want to look too much because I didn't want to see what happens at the end or who was still alive or whatever. It's like 337 pages. I'm at 159, so it's a little um, more than half I got to go. I really want to try to finish this book today. Honestly, I really do because I'm just so anxious to find out what's going to happen. I don't even know, like, for all I know, Somebody could wake up and it could all be dream. I'm not, I literally don't know what's going to happen. So this book, whoo, man, I'm so glad that my sister recommended this and that some subscribers recommended it as well. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work. As you guys see, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, I work from home and that's why I look kind of bummy and stuff. And I'm tight on my Zoom meetings. I always have my camera off. It's like whatever, but I get my work done. So I'm just, I'm like super casual, but yeah, I'm going to get back to work probably read some more during my lunch break or if there's some slow down time or something but <laughs> no I'm joking but um yeah I just can't wait I really want to finish this book today because I just can't wait to see what happens but anyway that's my little update for right now I will see you guys later okay so I finally finished this book last night I went hard I didn't care if I had to stay up late and lose sleep or whatever I wanted to finish this book so bad oh my gosh when I tell you guys it is a page turner it is a page turner I don't it's because I'm new to reading because other than that I don't know how I hadn't read this book already um Taylor Adams is a genius hands down just based off of this one book he has now become one of my favorite authors um and this I'm just gonna say it this is probably my favorite book of all time that I've read so far um easily a five-star read so oh my god the book is so crazy so what, um, one thing I really liked about it, like I mentioned before, it's in a beach town. It's actually in Washington State. I could relate to everything, the smell, the scenery, the sounds, everything. So it was really easy for me to relate. And Taylor Adams doesn't go into all these long, drawn out descriptions of trying to do the character. He knows how to build the character, but he can do it quick enough so that you don't get bored and lose interest in the story. Um, I, I love the characters, whether they're bad or good, everything about them. They said like a lot of quirky, funny stuff. And I don't think Taylor Adams was trying to like be a comedian. It was like real, but like the descriptions he would give for some stuff, like the smells, like somebody smelled like butter. And it's like, I could really, you know, understand, I could really understand that, you know, and <laughs> like that one room smelled like axe cologne or whatever mountain dew and socks or something like that and i just realized I was like oh my god i can smell that smell like a teenage boy's room or whatever and then like one of the characters is described as like an overgrown chucky doll you guys know chucky the little killer doll or whatever and so that just like had me just like rolling but anyway it's not like it was supposed to be like a comedy book but, like some things i just sound i found funny so it was like super entertaining um in addition to that i mean it's just like action-packed this is probably the most consistent action-packed book I've ever read. I mean, one thing after another. Every time you look around, 
I mean, there was no room to just sit down and just breathe or whatever. You just like, um, it was just really intense throughout the whole thing. It was crazy. If you like murder, this is the book for you. If you like action pack, this is the book for you. If you like um, just being creeped out, like you're scared of things or, you know, you're scared of things like being in a house alone or whatever, hearing no noises, hearing or seeing figures or stuff like that or being in a creepy older house that hasn't been renovated or anything, then this is the story for you. Um, I, I can honestly say I never got bored. Not in one chapter did I ever get bored. And I, can, I don't know if I can say that for any other book, whether I loved it or not in the end. Um, it's just, and then the plot twist is like crazy. One of my scribes had told me, because I told her I was reading it like right now. And she was like, oh, the end is going to be crazy. I'm like, all right, bet. Got to the end. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, this book literally, I don't, I couldn't figure it out. I like it when I can't figure it out. I told you guys that before. Um, I thought it was one person, the bad person. Nope, wrong. Okay, it's this person. Nope, wrong. Okay, maybe I was right the first time. It's that person. Nope, wrong. And then it's maybe this person. Nope, wrong. Maybe these two people are in cahoots. Nope, wrong. I mean, just over and over again, twist after twist after twist. And it didn't, it wasn't like so many twists where it just got corny or it's like Taylor Adams ran out of ideas or anything like that. It was like really, really, really good. Um, if you like, this is one of those thrillers where it's not just like a psychological thriller. It's like literally you're scared to be in a house alone by yourself and that sort of thing. Um, there's parts where I got really, really mad and I like getting angry. I like to really just feel it. I got mad in this book. I was mad. And I had mentioned earlier in another clip, my sister told me, be careful about watching reviews because there's people who got really mad at a certain situation that happened in the book. Um... I think I said at the end of the book. It doesn't happen at the end. There might be people that was mad at the end or whatever. But that's not what she was referring to. After I told her what I had read already, she told me the part that I got mad about. And it's actually more like the middle or in between the middle and the end. And it's not, it's, it's something that I don't really care about. It's just a, it's just, just a story. So it's not letting I took that deep. But for people who, a certain kind, I'll say a certain group or a certain type of people probably get mad at this one point or whatever but to me it wasn't that big of a deal I just say it like that without giving anything away but um I mean this book was just crazy I can't believe I love a book so much and based off of what I thought about this book I already have another Taylor Adams book in my collection that on my TBR that I just haven't got to yet and it's called No Exit I'm really looking forward to that because that one has a movie made of it and I want to absolutely read the book first and then watch the movie and then kind of like do a little comparison or whatever. So I never got to do that yet with any other thing. Freedom McFadden's movies haven't came out yet or anything. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I, I don't know, you guys. If you have not read The Last Word by Taylor Adams, I highly, highly recommend you read it. You will not be disappointed. Um, if you have read um, that book already, go ahead and comment and let me know what your thoughts were. And if you thought it was just fire like I did because I'm just like... Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't believe it. It was just so good. Um, like I said, I get bored easy. You, you won't get bored with this book. I mean, from the very beginning when she writes that review, it all starts there and it's just like powering forward through the whole book. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm just, you guys can see the excitement. I'm just like really feeling it right now. I'm just excited and looking forward. I don't know if I'm reading No Exit next. I might read something else I, I don't I don't know if I want to read two Taylor Adam books in a row but I might I don't know who knows I have a lot of books in my collection and I want to use my Kindle as well so whatever but anyway this is just my little vlog with my reactions I hope you guys enjoyed um if you're not already subscribers subscribe to my channel click on notifications so you'll be notified when I upload new videos if you like this video thumbs up again just keep the recommendations coming this one was recommended by subscribers and my sister um highly recommend it appreciate it for real um keep the recommendations going for books as well as just authors in general um yeah so that's it you guys just please read this book if you haven't read it already please 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 do this is a recommendation from tony reads please read the last word by taylor adams um, it's just a great concept it's very different i haven't read anything like this before taylor taylor adams is an awesome author um thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video